Lumini 11 just went live and this is my first impressions. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I'll see you next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. This video is about the new uh, update from Lumion. Lumion 11 is live today, 17 November 2020, and I've just installed it and this is my first impressions. So this is really me looking for like the second or third time, but you know, still not knowing what's exactly new because I haven't read any release notes from the Lumion team. So this is just me you know, showing you around a little bit. Uh, straight away, you can see a little bit graphics change a little bit, more um, straight lines. It seems like different fonts or something slightly, you know, uh, newer there. Different new environment to start your project. And this Create Design Showcase looks pretty interesting. Okay. Uh, some new examples like they always do in the each update. So pretty cool. Uh, and this is a great way uh, to really get uh, some uh, effect tips uh, for your renderings and your animations. You know, if you go copy them because you can save the, the settings. Okay. And upload to your project. This is a great way when you, once you start, when you're starting out to get the, the right effects, the right ambient uh, for your projects. My benchmark is terrible as you can see, but I'm going to tell you something. Uh, the benchmark is worse than my Lumion 10.5 uh, um, benchmark, but it does seem quicker when I'm moving around in the, in the, in the model, in the, in the example. Okay. So I'm not sure, uh, how or why, uh, but it does seem faster, the workflow. So maybe the big update is not actually something you can see straight away, but something that you can feel when you're working in Lumion. Okay. So I'm just loading the example project for you guys to check it out. And we're going to explore some of the new features. So this was a house that actually was in the Lumion 10.5. They start showing this model, I think. But anyway, I'll do some renderings uh, just for you to check it out in the end of the video. Um, let's start with the, with the, with the, with the content library. So this is uh, just more or less the same as you can see here. Uh, you have some new toggles, new design, I mean. Okay, so this is more or less the same and the placement is the same. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I ha I, I, I wanted to do uh, the speed up this, this, um, this, uh, this video. So I'm really going to concentrate on the new things. I just do the quick thing, uh, uh, walk through to, for, to, to see the new stuff. So the vegetation nature library is exactly the same. The only thing you have new is a new category this, uh, called weeds. And this is pretty cool. I like it. Um, so basically you have two pages of it. Okay. Um, there was a guy that did a comment in, uh, in uh, one of my videos because, um, I, um, previously in another Lumion update, I was really annoyed that you can't uh, find the new stuff straight away. Uh, it's not upfront. You know what I mean? So he told me that if you put in search new, it's going to give you exactly the uh, new models in that category. So that's a pretty cool way to, you know, and straight away you can see here is just two bits. All the rest is exactly the same. Um, we have more fine detail nature, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, some new fine detail nature models, a lot of ferns, um, and uh, some new uh, trees as well. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. I really like that. Um, in terms of some indoor models, we have some new indoor models. So again, I'm just going to go and see here new. Sorry, my computer eats a little bit slow. I need a new one. I need to invest in a new PC. Um, yeah, so, you know, just a few things, you know. Um, I'm not going to waste a lot of time here because I'm looking for more the outdoors. So let's check it out. What's in the outdoors. Not a lot of stuff, you know, not a lot of like, n you know, new stuff, you know, I'm pretty sure I've seen that previously. Uh, you know, you have these things. So it's cool. If you're creating ambience, um, the lights, you know, what's this electricity box. So that's cool for a big project, industrial 
setting. Uh, transport. Let's check it out what's new. Sorry if this is a bit slow. But I, I really just wanted to share with you guys. So some new cars. You know. And some lights. The lights are the same. Everything is the same here. Some There is a f uh, some few uh, new people. If you want to check it out. In here it's pretty cool. We have new fires. So I'm just going to show you the difference of the fire. Because this is definitely a big update. I'm going to add a new one. And I'm going to add the old one. Let's just make it darker a little bit. So I ca actually can see the difference. Um, you can see the difference in fire. Come on. It's amazing. The difference between one and the other. You know. It's much more realistic the new fire items. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely happy with that. I wish they did something for the water as well. Um, I, I checked out they haven't. Um, you know, this would be something that I really look forward to. It's some uh, better quality water. There was actually a comment in one of my YouTube videos as well that from 3D Warehouse, certain fountain models uh, that they have already like, you know, the texture of water. If you do them in uh, glass, in Lumion, they look pretty cool. Something I need to try it on and do a video about it. It, it showed me some images and they did look pretty good. Uh, because the the water uh, the water effect here it needs a bit of work, um, yeah. But anyway, nothing else new here. All the same. Uh, sounds the same. I don't think there is any new sounds and effects the same as well. So in materials, um, there is a few uh, a few uh, new materials. Uh, Straight away, uh, there is a few woods for the outdoors. I'm going to concentrate a little bit on the outdoors. Uh, there you have uh, here some new woods, so that's uh, that's that's cool. Uh, one I really like that I saw was in soil, and you have uh, moss, so that's pretty cool. And don't forget, I'm with the lower resolution editor, so you're not gonna you don't see the full impact of this. But uh, in the renderings, this is going to look amazing. So moss, that's pretty cool for you if you're working with the outdoors like I do. Uh, but everything else is the same. So the same 3D grasses, same leaves. Uh, here, everything is the same. In the outdoors, as I told you, is you have some new uh, ones, but nothing, you know, not a lot of new stuff here. Uh, so, you know, you have some new, I'm pretty sure this is new. But in here, you can't do that trick of new, which is a shame. Um, but um, once they add the release notes, I will go into each new feature and do a specific video for that feature, if it's worth it, um, to check it out. Okay, so I'll probably do a video just about the new materials for the outdoors, for example. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the materials bit. Um, no, not a lot of new fabrics, uh, which is a shame. So in here, uh, more or less the same, everything the same. Um, nothing new to, to talk about in here um, and the, the weather the same just a bit of uh, cosmetic work in terms of graphics uh, but uh, but more or less the same so but we have here I'm pretty sure that's the new brickwork in terms of materials not sure they normally use the if you go to the new example models they normally add new stuff in that example the newest stuff they are in the example models so in here in terms of uh, photo editor mode let's check it out to see some of the effects so the effects uh, it's uh, the same there is just a new effect that i'm really looking forward to and this is the orthographic view. This is the only new effect you have in Lumion Pro 11. Um, but this is pretty cool. Because I've just did a video about uh, doing um, 
doing uh, elevations in Lumion and this will make my life so much easier because as you can see you can do it. I'm gonna be exploring so I'm, I really don't know much about this I know that you can move around you can do 3D uh, that's the default or 2D that's basically the elevation so my previous video from like two weeks ago of doing elevations in Lumion is completely you know out now and uh, you can actually fill with color for example you know how cool is that for project presentations and to use your renderings you know it's much much easier now so this is probably going to be my first new video coming up uh, my of uh, you know the newest feature because i think this so far for me this is the feature that really you know it's the the highlight of this new lumion update because i haven't seen nothing else uh, much different than that so yeah you have here again as you can see this is so cool for project presentation i'm really this is that is really really cool set a uh, cool effect so this is more or less the same it's just different graphics um yeah and uh, let's check it out just the video editor so the same pretty much uh the custom styles um there's no difference either the only thing i've seen here was in in, in edit clip uh you can now take the effects um because i don't think we had that before uh which is cool uh this is really slowing down now my computer because so yeah that's basically it for lumion 11 uh i'm using the pro uh, edition uh but yeah just you know um in terms of conclusion i see the orthographic view being the biggest uh, highlight of this new update so far uh but i really need to see the release notes because maybe you know there's something that i'm missing um and the, the fire and the fine detail nature models uh for me they are the three things that really you know make this worth it is it worth it if you're using right now uh, lumion 10 to update to lumion 11 Pfft, so far for me no but saying that you know let's wait and see maybe the release notes tell you tell me something more um but yeah see you in the next video bye bye guys